working on the 1963 Bud XR400 concept car. It is an operational concept car. So what we're doing today is we brought the car out from storage and right now we're going through conservation maintenance of it. In 2009, a lot of work was done extensively for this vehicle in conservation. So what we begin with first is the condition reporting of the vehicle, which involves checking the vehicle out to see if there's any changes during the past 10 years. We're reintroducing fluids that we normally would not keep in the museum storage, which could be hazardous or hazardous to the vehicle itself. So some of the hazardous fluids that we would remove would be the battery, the gasoline, engine oil, and the transmission fluid. Well, I finished putting the oil in, the engine oil in, and I just want to crank it just to distribute the oil and just let it flow and see if I need to add any more engine oil. This vehicle was last running in 2010 for Motor Muster, and we'd like to bring it back to running condition for this year's Motor Muster in 2019. The next step is to put some radiator fluid inside. In 2009, the vehicle went through extensive conservation for its engine, and then right now we're just maintaining it. One quart of automatic transmission because it is an automatic vehicle. The car's been sitting in, in museum storage for 10 years and hasn't run since. So Motor Muster is a way for visitors to see it and a special chance to see it because we don't normally run our vehicles all the time. The more we run it, the more it wears down. So I'm putting in approximately two gallons based on this gauge right here. After the event, we'll be reversing the procedures to bring it back to its condition for storage. So it's been a couple of days. I thought I'll take a look at the leak. It's been the records before that it's been leaking and it's there. Uh, so I'm not gonna fix the leak because that'll be a bit more invasive. It tends to add a lot of character to the car as well. I found new damage on the car and I like to do some fills. So I'm preparing waxes with pigments. The wax is very reversible. Comparing to automotive paints that will require more invasive work to repair and remove original paints, this is much more localized. But this wax is the combination blend of two waxes, uh, a Cosmoloid ADH and Argon P90, then crushed pigments. Sometimes some of the finish of the car has uh, more of a pearlescent look, so I may add other materials like a mica or something that will be similar to the finish of the car. But the wax acts as a binder to the paint pigments, and in turn I can always sculpt it or shape it to what I need just has to blend in so that someone from far away could not see it. Depending on the lighting conditions and what the light does to the actual wax, it could look different to the actual finish of the car. So that might be another problem to address. But I think overall, it's a small loss. And with the wax introduced, it'll just be less of a disfigurement. I'm getting ready to start the vehicle. So I'm just going to move the position of the car outside. All the food's been empty, so I'm hoping to build pressure now. And then it takes a while, just to trial and error for these things to happen and get it operational. So one of the biggest challenges is to make sure nothing goes wrong for the events. So we're getting a head start of it. So I'm removing the air filter so I can get access to the carburetor and try some starter fluid inside. Gives it a good boost. Some of the gauges aren't working as properly as I hope, like the fuel. So it may be low, I haven't put enough, but it's still running, so it's getting fuel. The oil pressure is building up pretty well, so that's a good sign that's pretty stable. Stuff like the hoses has likely been replaced. Rubber doesn't do well during the ages. Same with all the ignition wires too. I'm also seeing some white smoke. In storage, one of the things we do is put oil inside the pistons and this is just still, it doesn't seize up at all. So it might be just burning up right now. 